Today I'm going to be building a $1500 gaming PC with an RTX 3070 and of course flipping it for some profit. Something arrives by 7pm tomorrow, what could it be? <sighs> it's tomorrow and all I got was an email saying it was rescheduled, like, bro I just gave my package. It is the EVGA RTX 3070 for the win 3. Finally, after like multiple days of it getting rescheduled, it finally arrived. A few days ago, I got emailed saying it was my turn in the EVGA Q system. And uh, well, a few clicks later and here we are. After multiple days of it getting rescheduled, it finally got here. Now let's build and flip this computer. I want all of you to go down below and guess the profit on this PC. Put your guesses in the comments. Now we can build. For the CPU, we're repairing this build with a Ryzen 9 3900X. This is a 12 core, 24 threaded processor. It's a workhorse and should add a ton of value to this PC. Speaking of it being a workhorse, I'm gonna market this PC as a streaming slash content creation PC and not just as like a normal, like good old gaming PC because this thing's gonna be a beast. Since it's going to be a beast, we're gonna need more than a basic 16 gigabyte kit of RAM. So I'm gonna be using a 32 gigabyte kit. It's a team group T-Force Delta RGB two by 16 gigabyte kit clocked at 3200 megahertz. 32 gigabytes is basically a necessity if you plan on doing more than just gaming. The CPU and RAM are all parts from my older PCs, but sadly the motherboard is not. This motherboard I had to pay a stupid price for since I got it in a new egg shuffle. It's an Asus Tough B550 Gaming Plus and the price was an obnoxious $150. It's a micro ITX motherboard with four DIMM slots, two M.2 slots, one of which has a heatsink, but other than that, it's pretty basic and in my opinion, it's not the best in terms of aesthetics. It looks really good other than the yellow accents. The rear IO isn't the best, but in total it has eight USB ports, one being USB Type-C, but it does have BIOS flashback, which is just a super easy way to update your BIOS. Okay, I was just building this PC and I realized I'm all out of NVMe SSD, so I'm gonna find one on Amazon, a one terabyte under 100 bucks, and I guess I'll see you guys when it gets here. It is the next day and I'm pretty sure I just heard an Amazon leave, so uh, let's go check the door. Also, peep the logo on the shirt. Open the door, unlock it first. Packages, please be here. Let's go, they are here. Open this thing up. I hate these Amazon bags. They're like so bad for the world, they're all like plastic and shit. But anyways, we got the one terabyte SSD. As I was just saying, these plastic bags are, <laughs> this has to be bad for the world, right? But it says, this packaging is lighter than our smallest box. Learn why lighter packaging matters. But isn't this worse than a box? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, this has to be worse than a, just a cardboard box, right? And then we also got some white cable extensions and black ones, but this is for another build. The SSD I went with is an Inland Professional 1TB NVMe SSD. It's a Gen 3 NVMe SSD with read and write speeds up to 1600 megabytes, and it also comes with a three year warranty. It's around $90, but luckily when I was purchasing it on Amazon, there was a $5 coupon. Savings is savings, so I definitely use that $5 coupon. I am installing the SSD in the bottom M.2 slot, mainly because it has that included heat sink. Bam, SSD installed. This electric screwdriver will be linked down below if you guys are interested. It is the wow stick. What's a damn gaming PC without RG bling? For the case, we're using the Thermaltake S100. It's a pretty basic white case with a solid front panel and a slab of glass on the side. It's not just a basic slab of glass, this one is pretty cool. It's a hinged door with magnets. It's a micro takes form factor so the stupid $150 motherboard will fit perfectly. Recently in one of my videos I used Vetro RGB fans and I really liked them so I'm going to be using them again. For $25 you get three 120mm addressable RGB fans. They are PWM and have 9 fan blades. A hub for the fans which can connect up to 6 fans and 6 different RGB products. And it also comes with a remote. 
I'm also gonna be using a 240 millimeter AIO to cool that beast of a Ryzen 9 we have. It's the Vetro Lurker V240 in white. It's a 240 millimeter AIO, which comes with two ARGB fans and RGB on the pump block, and all of it should sync together with the hub. The fans and the AIO are both five volt three pin ARGB, so they can be controlled via a supported motherboard and daisy chain together. This case is pretty spacious for a micro ATX case, so I'm gonna be doing a top mounted radiator. Mounting this radiator is super easy for Ryzen CPUs. It uses these little hooks and their original AM4 mounting hardware so you don't have to take it off. They also included additional mounting hardware for Intel, even for 12th gen CPUs. So the build is fully done minus the GPU. So let's unbox this thing and then put it in this computer. So far this build is turning out super fire as you can see right there. I already have the 24 pin power cable extension, the white one, I have the 240 miller AIO. I put two of the three RGB fans in the front and then one in the back. And this build, oh man, when it's done, I think I'm gonna cry. I must say, peeling off that plastic was not satisfying at all. Alrighty, the PC is done minus the cable management, but uh, we'll finish that up later. Let's go ahead and flip this power switch and uh, hope it works. Press the power button, one, two, and three. Okay. Okay, everything's spinning. Okay, uh, no RGB is lighting up other than the GPU and RAM, but I think I know why. I don't think I hooked up the fan controller. Okay, second try. This thing should shine like a unicorn. Oh! Sorry if I just blew out your eardrums, but yeah, ah, damn, this thing looks so much good. The PC is done. And of course, to tie the whole build together and to keep the aesthetics going, which is a black and white combo with RGB, we want some white cable extensions. If you guys are curious, the power supply you use was a Corsair RM850X, which is fully modular and 80 plus gold. Here is the full parts list, but for now, let's talk about the total cost and my estimated profit. My build cost was a whopping $1,553.75, and all the parts totaled up on eBay is around $1,900. So with that said, I think I'm gonna be listing at $2,300. And the lowest I'm gonna be going is $2,000 in cash. I normally only take cash, but if it sells for $2,000, then that's almost a $500 profit. Anyways, instead of talking about profit, let's test some games and get this thing listed so we can make some profit. I tested some more Cold War. The last time I tested it, I actually enjoyed it, so I'm gonna keep testing it until I no longer enjoy it. I tested it in 1080p with high settings and got an average FPS of 106. Keep in mind, when I say high settings, I mean max settings. It was completely maxed out. Yes, I understand this gaming PC can handle higher resolutions than 1080p, but I only have a 1080p monitor for testing, so I'm just gonna have to live with it. Next game up is of course some good old Apex Legends. I stream Apex on Twitch sometimes, uh, so go follow me on there. I go live like every so often. I tested in 1080p with all high settings, and once again, high settings is max settings, and it got an average FPS of 186. Enjoy these couple clips I managed to get. Sometimes I'm super good at Apex, and then sometimes I'm just complete trash. If you guys have any tips on improving consistency, then leave them in the comments. Normally I test Fortnite, but I don't really want to play a game like that when I just got done playing some good old COD in Apex. You know what I mean? Time to take some pictures and list this thing. But first, I gotta give it to you guys. Juicy little plastic peely time. Let's go! It is March 10th. I just listed the computer. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long to sell. See you guys when it sells.
Just starting the day, I'm about to brush the teeth and uh, someone is messaging me about the PC. They're asking a ton of questions that can honestly be easily answered if they just read the description. But uh, oh, well, I guess that's what I'm here for to answer their questions because I can't read. But uh, this I just hope it sells. Yo guys, I just woke up and that guy texted me and he wants to come get the PC right now. So uh, I should probably get dressed. <laughs> I think the guy just got here. Just so you know, I am recording just for security purposes. Oh, good. Um, so, I mean, here it is running up. Uh, going task manager. There's your Ryzen 9 3900X, 32 gigabytes of RAM at 3200 megahertz. Are well, you doing everything I was gonna do anyway? One terabyte SSD, yeah. <laughs> RTX 3070. If you want to see Heaven run, I mean you can. And I, I installed it. We can launch MSI Afterburner so you can see temperatures. You will need either a Wi-Fi adapter or run Ethernet, but Ethernet's always better than wireless. So I'm loving it. Sounds great. What uh, games you looking to play? Uh, well, he was talking to me about uh, Elden. Elden oh, the Elden. Ring. That sounds insane. This will like, definitely run it. Oh yeah. <laughs> what do you mainly use your use yours for? Uh, you can count too, if you'd like. I play is Apex Legends, which I suck at. Daisy, yeah. which I suck at. All and the then battle I royale videos. games. <laughs> it's just kind of like. You had to be insanely good, or it's just kind of like. Well, like the only the only reason I would I ever played like like the only one I play is Warzone. Let's go home. Three days later and the PC finally sold and the guy came through with a fat stack of cash. If you guys want to see full unedited videos of me selling the PC, so just the transaction, then join the channel as a tier one member and you can gain access to it. Anyways, let's count it. 51, 52, 53, 54, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2,000, one, two, three. So in total, we got 2,300 in cash and that is a profit of around $800. The title of the video was asking if this is still a good way to make money. And let me tell you, it is super slow right now and high end is definitely selling better than low end. In my local market, that is what I'm noticing at least. I've had lower end builds all the way from $350 to $800 and none of them have sold and some of them have been listed for over a month. And then I go ahead and list a high end PC for $2,300 and three days later, it sells for asking price. So moving forward, I'm definitely gonna be focusing more on high-end just because that is what is selling and it's basically my job so I kind of need my PCs to sell so expect more high-end flips in the future. I'm still going to be doing low-end flips but high-end is what is selling for me. Anyways if you enjoyed the video smash the like, subscribe if you loved it and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!